Hey everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm out here on the balcony uh, at the farmhouse uh, shooting this intro for the video to let you know that this is going to be a door knocking video that me and Jerry did in a rural area in Virginia and had an awesome time. Now I didn't do a lot of filming at the first location uh, because we were kind of in a frenzy making a lot of good finds and just wanted to keep digging, uh, but it was a house built in the early 1900s, probably around 1910, and I didn't show a whole lot, but one of the cool things is that I forgot to show is when the original chimney was knocked down. I guess it wasn't in great shape when they did some renovations. They actually used the old chimney materials, the stone, uh, to make a path leading up to the house from the driveway, so I thought that was pretty neat. Um, I don't know much uh, historically about the house other than the fact that the guy that lives there is one of four brothers that grew up there. So he's lived there his entire life and he even had a few pictures um, from the family that originally lived there before his family had purchased it uh, a long time ago. So um, it was pretty interesting. I um, showed him a lot of the finds. He couldn't remember any of it. He didn't recognize any like the old toys we found as being his um, as a kid when he was growing up because I offered to give him the, uh, I'm not going to tell you, I offered to give him a few of the things I found, but he didn't really uh, want to keep them because he didn't remember them. Uh, so he was cool to let us keep them, but I had offered him a few things, but uh, he said that he didn't re remember them, so he figured it could have been maybe stuff that his brothers had dropped, but he wasn't certain. And like I said, people had lived there uh, before his family as well in the early 1900s. So anyway, it's a really cool video, and we did some hunting at other locations. I hope you enjoy, and we'll get right into it. All right, here's my first good signal at this spot, and it's a bucket lister for me, and Jerry has a silver too. We're going to go over and take a look at it. Mine's a 46 Rosie. I got a 1945 silver Canadian King George the sixth, I believe, silver dime. Sweet. I'll put that in the pouch, and um, we'll go ahead and take a look at Jerry's real quick, because he just got a, a Rosie. Oh man, you can see it shining from here. I'm gonna pick it up. It's a worn 46 Rosie. I dug a couple Wheaties. We got some old memorials already. Awesome old house here built in the early 1900s. Sweet. Nice. And a quick look at the 1945 Canadian Silver Dime. Super happy to have this. A Canadian Silver was way high on my bucket list. Now, I have found a lot of the King George pennies before probably less than 10, but still quite a few of them. And I found some of the Queen Elizabeth pennies, obviously, as they're a little bit newer. But I was never able to find a Canadian silver in all of my hunts. I don't live particularly far north, so you don't see them in circulation uh, or as old drops hardly ever down here in the south, but really happy to have that. It's in really nice condition. You can see King George VI on there. It's got a couple of hairline scratches, but not too bad. Really pretty on that side, so super happy to have this. I was literally going to make a trip all the way to Canada just to find one of these. We'll still have to go. That's not an excuse not to do a nice adventure. Okay, so Jerry's might have been a spill right next to where he just got that silver. He just pulled out another silver dime. 1950 Silver Roosevelt. And uh, while he was digging that, I was digging a 1968 penny. So this is an absolutely amazing spot. Original soft soil, and I think we're just getting started. So stay tuned for more. Sweet. Awesome. Good call on that knock. Okay, it's been a little while here. We've been digging out some wheats and some odds and ends. And um, deep here in this hole, I just pulled out the oldest coin so far. It's a 1919 S wheat penny, which is awesome. Not particularly rare, but a nice oldie with an S mint mark. And Jerry just found this one, his oldest coin, at the same time. And it's a 1927 wheat, so the oldies are here. So we're gonna keep hunting. Let me show real quick, I also just dug it's in here somewhere. Did I throw it in my trash pouch? Yeah, here, check this out. I found this old uh, piece of a toy gun missing the barrel. Not sure what type it is, but it's definitely brass. Really cool. Oh, it's going to say something on the handle here, too. Oh, made in something. Hopefully, that, maybe that says USA on it. Made in. Yeah, made in USA. That's sweet. All right, well, we'll keep looking. Awesome little spot here for sure. So here's a look at the gun cleaned up a little bit more. I'm not familiar with this exact kind, so maybe one of you out there can do some research for me, but it says made in USA. It's definitely solid brass. It has this little knob on the end of it. I'm not sure um, what the purpose of that is, but I actually found one similar before, but somebody told me it had something to do with being a, 
a, an old squirt gun or something to do with water balloons. I can't remember, but if you have any idea, let me know. But on this side, I'm sure that has this uh, the brand, but it says M and M and L. So there you have it. Nice old brass toy gun. I know you guys can't see much on camera because the sun's out here, but I just got a five inch scratchy signal. I thought it might be a pull tab or a nickel. It is a nickel, and that's the first old one for me. It's 1941. I thought it was going to be a buffalo, and I think Jerry got a 1939 earlier, so all sorts of old coins here. Maybe we'll get an old silver quarter or half today. That'd be sweet. We have permission to do the back, too. So I managed to find 12 wheat pennies in that yard, and except for one, they range, all range from 1941 to 1958, which is the last year. I broke the curse, and I didn't get a 59 memorial. How about that? But apart from the ones from the 40s and the 50s, I did get one oldie, which is a 1919 San Francisco, so that's a pretty cool find there. And I figured I'd show the 1941 nickel as well. Okay, I got a weird piece of something here. I'm not sure what it is. It was very deep. It doesn't look like a pendant because it doesn't have a hole in it. Not sure what it broke off of. It definitely looks like it broke off of something else. But it says U-N-I-O maybe on it? Union maybe? Something? I don't know. Weird piece. Definitely have to clean that one up later. It's old anyway. But we'll keep looking. There's some neat stuff down here and there it goes. Well, I think we're putting the puzzle together. I got another piece out of the hole and it's in another triangular shape with some more lettering on it. Um, I believe this would have been an old uh, kid's badge probably and it had, um, you know, kind of like a kind of like a star-shaped badge and I'm um, not sure what it would have said on it but something SH here so it probably said sheriff on it. It's probably an old kid's sheriff badge. It's pretty cool. I can't find the rest of it but I got two pieces so we'll clean them up later. Okay, I came over into the shade because it is really hot out in the sun here today. Um, but anyway, right out in the middle there I got a, about a four inch zinc sounding penny. A zinc sounding signal, not a penny. And um, it's a 1961 rabies vaccination tag. In really good shape too. It's like finding that. The targets have really slowed down. We've been here, it's probably been about a half hour since I had the camera on last. Dug like one or two more wheat pennies and a few more bits and bobs, but uh, first notable find in a while. I like it. Let's keep looking. Well, with the signal slowing down, I figured I'd dig a shallow one that was almost right under the surface. 1917 S wheat. What did Jerry just found? What, 1917 S wheat penny? Yeah. Sweet, good find. That's the oldest coin so far out of here. And I just got a John Deere key. I'll have to check to see if the homeowner lost this one because it's not very old. You can see the deer on it. It's an old John Deere lawnmower or tractor key. Not old. That's fairly new. That can't be older than 10, 15 years. Just barely under the surface there. All right, we'll keep looking. Okay, I'm working off of the side of the driveway here, and there's a couple coin tones down and through here, but this is so hard packed, it's really next to impossible to get to them. Um, but I'm sure most of them are probably just copper pennies from the 70s and 80s, but um, you never know. I've dug out old driveways before, but right off the edge of it, I got a faint deep signal I thought might just be an iron bit. And I went about 10 inches down off the side of the driveway here and got this old button. When I first saw this side, it looked hollowed out, I thought it was a ring. It's definitely some kind of old button. Alright, we'll clean it up later. Still squeaking a few things out. So there's a look at the house right there, and um, I'm looking in the front on the opposite side that used to be pasture, kind of down in this way. It was even over here back in the day. Working the edge toward the road here, and I got another rabies vaccination tag. This one's aluminum and it's 1963. Must have had a lot of dogs running around here. Now I really consider these fantastic finds and it really tells a story because these are the same type of rabies vaccination tags two years apart and you can see that that was during the period where they switched over from making them out of copper to making them into aluminum. So it took place sometime between 1961 and 1963. So you can see the progression of how they changed the design of these over the years, but they kept the same shape there, at least in that time period, just changed the composition of the metals they were made out of. So really happy to have these. They're in good shape. We got the 1963 and the 1961 Pittman-Moore rabies vaccination tags. Pretty sweet. I have so many of these. I'll have to show my collection someday. There you go. Check this out. Hopefully it doesn't jump on me. That thing is crazy. 
going up the wall towards your hand. Yeah, I see that. We're not going to mess with him too much. <laughs> All right, we'll leave him be. But yeah, I almost picked up a banana spider once that was like that big. It was so shiny, I thought it was a fishing lure, and I went to pick it up. It scared me half to death. That was when I was a kid out fishing. I don't know what kind that is, though. Crazy, though. Might be poisonous. Now we stopped to check out this old uh, community center that used to be a school. You can see it's all boarded up. And that's obviously the original building, and this one's not quite as old. But you still use it for something, because they definitely got the electricity running there. But, uh... We just wanted to stop off to see. We were going to detect a little bit, but it's mostly gravel on this end, and where you can look, the grass is just super high. Well, I figured it'd show it anyway. Pretty cool place. And we're just in behind here, but uh, I'm going to keep scouting around. Not sure if we're going to do any more detecting today or not, but we already got a lot of cool finds. I didn't show a lot of it filming when we were at the other location, but we got a lot of bits and bobs, a lot of wheat pennies to go along with the silver and the relics we found. Jerry's still looking around here a little bit, scouted out, but the grass is super high back here. And I'm sure there's years and years and years worth of trash too from vandals and stuff like that. Alrighty, we will keep you all posted. Alright, check out where we're metal detecting now in behind this old store that was built in the 1920s in an old downtown area that we're at have permission from a guy to be back here where Jerry looked around another house before he owns this back here. Naturally, it's like a garbage dump back here and I'm sure for over all the years, a lot has happened. So we're not expecting to find too much other than old trash, hopefully. But uh, on the back of this property, somewhere back here, there actually was an old jailhouse that was tore out. So um, you never know, there could be some really cool stuff here, but anyway. Check out this surface find I just made. <laughs> there you go. And the only other interesting signal I found here, which I'm going to fish out of my bag, is this. We've only been here a couple minutes. It's not lead, so I don't think it's an old railroad seal. The railroad runs literally right through there. I'll have to turn the camera on. When it goes by, it'll blast us. But uh, anyway, I'll have to clean that up later, see if it's anything interesting. It's got like concrete crusted on it, but uh, what we got so far. We'll look around here a bit longer. All right, believe it or not, got an old coin here. But anyway, this was underneath the target. I went too deep and I went fishing for that. I'll put that in my pouch in a second. And almost right under the grass, 1944 wheat penny. So there's some stuff in here, a lot of trash and overload signals, but I guess we'll work this a bit longer. Jerry found a 1963 penny, so there could be some interesting stuff back here, dating to the back to the 1800s as well. So. Let's keep going. Okay, over here is like the biggest, I don't know what you want to call it, like the biggest hornet I've ever seen in my life. I don't know, and it's like attacking an anthill. That thing is huge. If that stung you, it would hurt. I want to detect over here. Or no, it's eating a dragonfly that the ants had. That's crazy. That the ants had covered over a dead dragonfly. And it is, it is eating the flesh out of this dragonfly. That is crazy. All right, we're gonna let that go. What'd you find? I don't know yet, but it's a coin. It just looks old. And it came up 92. Jerry's got an old coin. We're gonna check it out. This may be silver. You think? 
Yeah, watch what it's Let hitting. me see it. I'll know. I'll know right away. This could be silver. Oh, <laughs> it bounced. And give, give me that. What is that? I don't know. That's a barber quarter. You gotta be kidding. It's toasted. Right there, dude. Two inches. Let's take a look at this. Man, that's messed up. That's definitely a barber quarter. I can see the head on there. It's 1913. It's insane. It's got all that concrete crap on it. It's like really, cr it's probably been in two inches. Two inches in that gravel. Where I'm, that hornet over there's eating a dragonfly. That is insane. Well, we knew this was old back here. Sweet find. We'll have to get that cleaned up a bit. It's rough, but it's a barber quarter. Sweet. Yes. Uh, I wasn't joking when I told you guys this would be a trash pit. Just keep finding like aluminum cups. I got a sardine tin in there. Just years and years and years of garbage. I got this Coleman something. I'm not sure what that was off of, an old Coleman product. But yeah, all kinds of craziness. But uh, there's overload signals everywhere. You could dig trash out of here for probably a week. There you go. Now what'd you get? Oh yeah, Jerry's, Jerry got a silver yeah, plated spoon. Yeah, community silver plate. So yeah, there's I mean old stuff back in here too. We're in a section where, bef I mean, people would have been in and through here with the railroad there and main, the, one of the main streets going right through here. People would have been through trekking through here for over, well over a hundred years. So you just never know. You never know. So I found this in that dump area we were looking through. It says Coleman on it, so it's not super old, but uh, not sure if that's off of like an old stove or maybe a lantern or something like that. Uh, but Coleman mostly makes like outdoor uh, products and stuff like that for camping. So I thought that was pretty interesting anyway. I am guessing back here is where the old jailhouse used to sit. Um, they got all this mounted up here, but it's just overload signals. Crazy. I bet this is where the structure was at, right back through here. The old jailhouse a long time ago. But yeah, this place is trashed. I can't believe Jerry found that beat up barber quarter back here. But man, that's why you gotta check everywhere. You just never know. And you've got the old railroad tracks running through here. Would have been a lot of stuff happening back here. Okay, we're out of there now. There was just tons of trash. We tried to isolate the smaller targets and the better stuff. Jerry found this little pirate aluminum ring. And um, I found a little button I have to clean up more. I'm not sure if it uh, has to do with the railroad or it might just be like a, an old uh, overalls button or something. I gotta clean it up. But uh, Jerry's barber quarter. Um, I remember the 1913S is extremely rare. Even in junk condition like that with like concrete crap on it and black and all marked up. If it's a 1913S, it'll be worth probably about $400 to $500 even in that crappy condition. So we're gonna clean it up and check it out. I doubt it, but uh, you never know. So here's an extreme close-up of the reverse of Jerry's 1913 barber quarter. It was in really rough shape, so he really had to go to work at cleaning it, but it didn't turn out too bad considering how rough it was uh, coming out of that trash dump back there. Uh, but anyway, it's not the rare San Francisco mint. You can see down here under the eagle's tail where the mint mark would be. There is no mint mark down there, uh, unfortunately, so it's just a common one. But any time you can find a coin that's silver and over 100 years old, it is an awesome find. So that's definitely one of the best ones of the day for sure. Okay, I just about had a heart attack when I saw this in the hole. I'm detecting around this little island here in these people's driveway, and I thought it just hit like a Morgan dollar or something crazy. But believe it or not, I found one of these earlier this year. It is a, man, the mosquitoes are terrible. It's a Long John Silver's doubloon. Um, I don't know exactly when these are from. Maybe it's 1754 to 1954, like a bicentennial. But uh, I'm not sure. This could be from like the 70s or 80s. But man, did that scare the crap out of me when I dug that up. I 
awesome token though, it's in good shape. Huge. All right, we'll keep looking around here. This is one of those finds that gives you a major heart attack when you see it in the hole. It's actually, I think, a little bit larger than a Morgan dollar. And the funny thing is I found one of these a couple months ago in that video where I found the 1917 Type 1 Standing Liberty Quarter. I found that one in that yard too. And previous to that I had never found one of these before in six years of metal detecting. But it's one Long John Silver's doubloon. And obviously it's not from 1754, but it's pretty cool. And the neat thing is, this is a different variety than the last one I found. Long John Silver's Pirates. And this one's Ann Bonnie. Alright. Pretty interesting. It's not silver, but it's pretty darn cool. Well, we're hunting a home permission where we haven't been finding much, but other than that token I got, it's mostly fill except for this little front area, and I'm working this little island. I was through this area and I missed it. Not sure if I went over it. Jerry got a 1926 Standing Liberty Quarter. Sweet. It's got an S mint mark on it. Ooh, I think that's a good one. A 26 S, that actually... It's a good one. I'm not sure if... Yeah, that actually might be a semi-key, I think, yeah, for the think Type 3. One. Yeah, I think that might be a rare one. Well, thankfully you didn't slam it with a shovel. Sweet. Actually. You might have put a little scratch in it there. No, that's just the glare. That looks good. 26S, you can clearly see it on there. I'll have to look that one up. I actually think that's a semi-key for the newer ones. Good find. Sweet. Oh, man. Okay. What is that? Jerry had something in the hole next to that SLQ. I went over it. And um, That can't be it. That's just a piece of aluminum. That was it. Unless that was actually the world's cheapest ring and that little piece was be. on the front of it. I think that was on the front of it. I think that's the it world's off. cheapest ring. Oh wait. No, that's just aluminum junk. Yeah, it's junk. But that was right down there by that SLQ. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, so I uh, just wanted to show you guys this place before we head out. Now this is not where we just detected. Uh, Jerry Metal detected around here before, bumped into the guy who's restoring that. And uh, he found a couple cool things in the yard. He found a standing Liberty Quarter that was like toasted and annihilated and like a thin barber dime that had been in a fire that was like extremely lightweight like it almost didn't exist and um, we hunted this place just now right across the street mostly fill dirt and has been metal detected before but as you could see over by the one section uh, Jerry found that standing Liberty quarter and I found um, that that cool token that I found that over there and um, that was about it. We didn't find a whole lot over there, but uh, hey, you got to check it out. You never know. So uh, we're packing it in, and I was going to say something, but I forgot. So if I figured it out, I'll turn the camera back on. So I remembered what I was going to say. I literally started metal detecting about maybe two to three feet away from where Jerry found that SLQ, and I avoided that area because the dogs started barking. It was up by the uh, one of the front windows of the house, and I didn't want the dogs to be barking the whole time we were there and like make the homeowners like uh, frustrated or something. So we went around the other side of the property and spent like an hour, and we both kind of snaked through that way, uh, up along the edge trying to avoid that front window <laughs> where that standing Liberty Quarter was. It was literally right in front of the window, like a yard out from the base of the old house. Uh, right where the dogs were uh, looking seeing us and barking so uh, it was pretty crazy but uh, Jerry ended up with that one I can't imagine what he would have done uh, if he would have saw that uh, big token in the hole but uh, I had him come over and look at it and he about had a heart attack because I didn't tell him what it was he thought I found a Morgan dollar but uh, it's crazy that's the second one I found this year and I've never found one before so I knew what it was when I saw it in the hole and picked it up and I could tell it was aluminum and I saw that big ship on the back with a date of 1754 but uh, crazy. It's a different variety than the one I found uh, in the past. So um, pretty neat anyway. We'd found next to nothing there, but uh, got a couple cold targets and uh, that beautiful SLQ for Jerry. So uh, not bad. I think we're wrapping it up. Long day, but uh, see you guys soon. Alrighty, so I figured I'd do a brief wrap up of the stuff I didn't show cleaned up in the video or I didn't show at all. So that's the stuff that you saw the close ups for. And apart from all of the really good stuff, I still found a lot of interesting odds and ends. Um, that's all my clad coins from the hunt. I found another bike reflector, and that may be my first yellow one. I'm not sure. I gotta clean that off a little bit yet. Uh, but I usually find the red or the green ones. We've got an old toy car that's crunched up. I'm not sure if that's a Tootsie, but it's a pretty old one. 
Uh, it's all mangled. It's got yellow paint on it. I got that little odd piece there. I got a number seven, which is like a mailbox number. Got a nice fancy button right there. That one's pretty cool. 1900s, probably around World War II-ish, but uh, pretty neat. Uh, an interesting piece of brass there. Uh, something that's iron. I'm not sure what that is. In that first yard we hunted, we found a couple of the organ reeds. I found two of them, and I know Jerry found at least one. I got an old shotgun shell head stamp. It's a solid brass one, so that's a little bit older. Um, I got a padlock with the top broken off. An old tire weight right there that's lead. I found a plug in my plug. And uh, this weird piece came out of the dump. I got an old key, a uh, strange piece of lead. I got the two pieces of my sheriff's badge. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the rest of it but it's still pretty neat there. I found this old button that came from the dump area and uh, just a little piece of like pottery or something like that, like an old planter that was in that dump area that was in one of the holes and there was tons of bricks in there. Uh, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.